What's up, keepers, and welcome back to ARSGK. I'm your host, Alberto, the goalkeeper coach and glove guru, and today we're going to be taking our first looks at the brand new One Glove Company range, which has a pair of gloves for every single different type of keeper. From the current, very popular Ultra Light Slayer Light glove being used by Deprovka now in the EPL, to our subscriber favorite and most requested video review, the Slayer Aurora, which is also being used in the EPL, with several pairs of great gloves in between. But the Slayer range can be broken down to a few key features found across most of these pairs. Starting with the brand new X-Wrap control tech found on the palm, wrapping the latex around the thumb on all the Slayer range, and a high level pro contact latex found on the palms plus a gorgeous and very capable mid-split wrist strap that stretches to fit around the wrist for a great customized fit and feel without leaving too much extra left over. So let's dive right into some quick lookovers of these gloves. We won't get too in depth here, but we can look at some of the features that make each pair unique and point out what I'm excited to try out most in field. And I want to start out with the Slayer Aurora, which has much thicker and a sturdier backhand than the other gloves in the Slayer range. You can see that that quality is not only a lot prettier, it's got that galaxy style backhand, but the glove in itself looks a lot thicker on the backhand and has a lot more shape and sturdiness to it. So it's something that I think will be really cool and it also has that wrist insert that looks like it will be a great uh, fit and a nice customized fit. So I'm looking forward to seeing that on our Slayer Aura. And up next we have the Slayer Blades. Like the Aurora, it comes in a traditional negative cut style but with a very different backhand. The material is a spec mesh that is a bit more comfortable on the backhand. It does have padding, it gives a little more comfortable padding and a little more kind of uh, freedom of movement in the backhand plus padding. So it's not as restricted as the Auras, but it still has that negative cut feel. So it is a very different glove and it is as well being used in the professional leagues right now in the UK. And this leads us to the probably the most popular glove of the new Slayer models. The Slayer Lite, which is being used by Dubrovka right now in the EPL, and it is an interesting pair to say the least. There are a ton of minor features that set these lights apart from the rest of the Slayer family, starting with that weight and backhand material used to make it fit the hand as close as possible, while they did add some internal silicone strips for non-slipping, and they have that extra long wrist strap and unique wrist insert. This is a very interesting ultralight glove and it's one that I cannot wait to really give it uh, a good test on the field and see just how well it performs because it is one of those ultralight gloves with a strap. And we're going to follow up the ultralight model with the gorgeous all white Slayer Pure. It's a hybrid cut mixed with this great wrist insert, a mesh background that is supposedly good for wind resistance and a very unique Hyla cut which one glove says mixes a flat base with a wall cut on the fingers, which turn them down to resemble a claw and aids into holding onto those shots. It's a very nice looking palm and all of this is with contact latex. And on the flip side are almost the exact opposite, we have the Slayer Boss. It's almost a complete blacked out version of the previous pure model we were just looking at with some slight changes. There is a change in the backhand material to that spec mesh that we saw in the earlier models that adds a little more flexibility and padding to the back uh, than the pure mesh's backhand. So there is that little change in the fit and also in that wrist area as it does not come with the same wrist insert that the pure does and it does have a bit more weight as the material of the spec mesh is a little more padded and has a little more weight. So it does have a bit of a different fit and it is not the same glove. And last but not least, especially since we've already started to use these guys on the field, the gorgeous black and red Slayer EJ1 gloves, which comes with all the bells and whistles and a newer Cresco hybrid cut which was placed on these bad boys that seems to be a hybrid negative and roll cut mix with a spec mesh backhand, a mid split wrist strap and the ever sticky contact latex palm. So yeah guys, that's it for our initial looks at the one glove range. Don't forget to check back in soon to check out all of their reviews and all of the other videos I'm going to be posting out in the next few days. Make sure to join us on Discord or follow me on Instagram to get all of the sneak peeks early. Thank you guys again and I'll see you all very soon.